Hello everyone and welcome back to the Volgenrath channel. I'm also posting this on Twitter. As you can see we have got the Xbox up here connected everything. We are on the Xbox Insider Alpha Skip Ahead Preview. This is like the cutting edge as soon as it's off the testing floor preview. And today we're going to talk about console streaming. It was just released today. I'm going to give you guys some insight on what all you need and what you need to do. So, number one, wire your Xbox to your modem. Wire it. Wireless is not going to do you any favors. Okay? Number two, you have to have an internet a package that has a decent upload speed. Downloads great and everything. Everybody likes to download their games nice and fast and quick and everything. And that's cool. But you need an amazing upload speed for the best gaming possible. Because your console is going to be sending all of this video data through the internet to your device. So, look at your internet upload. You can test that in the network settings. They're under general network settings, test network speed, and blah, 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 diagnostics, whatever. Look at your upload speed. A minimum of six megs. A minimum of six megs. And I'm talking absolute bare minimum is necessary for this to stream. I do recommend trying to get into a internet service package that allows for quite a bit more than that. My current one at this place of residence gives me a 15 meg upload. Um, with all the buffering and stuff that's going to happen through that and what the Xbox is actually going to be able to utilize to the modem, it's probably going to be about 10. So that should give me a 10 megs per second upload. You can actually do 4K without HDR. Um, we're not going to need a 4K resolution. We're only going to need a 1080p. 1080p is right around 8 megs. You can even get a 720p. It's really going to, and it's going to auto adjust based on what your network is. So that's the first step. Make sure your network's solid with a strong upload. Make sure you're wired. Make sure you're an Xbox Insider on the Skip Ahead preview if you want to do it today. And I will leave the information on how to do that in the information below this video. So check that out. Also, you know, all that subscribe, like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If you want more tech tips, that's where you go. We are going to head downstairs where I have a tablet connected to a completely different network than this one. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're in the same house, but we're on a completely different network. And I'm going to skip all that because this is just from setup. So as you can see, my Project Scorpio from upstairs is there. Um, this is the app. I'll actually start completely from scratch. So you can see the Xbox game streaming app. This is a Samsung Samsung S4 tab. A uh, The Project Scorpio. So this is an S model. It's easy to tell because you got the headphone jack there. But this is an S model controller. You would pair it just like you'd pair a regular Xbox. But you pair it to the Bluetooth right there. And you make sure that you're on an internet. We are on a separate internet than... What does console streaming because we want to do this streaming thing right so now we are going to i'm going to lower the brightness here a little bit this is the xbox streaming app you can find it on the google play store you cannot access this unless you are an insider um and you've signed up for the previews like i said all that information will be down below and when you get to it you'll be here at Project X Cloud. This is the first page you'll start on after you get all your signups and stuff in. These four games you can play right off the X Cloud server. That's really cool and they play really well. Um, on mobile data, Killer Instinct is a little bit of a pain in the butt right now. They're still ironing those things out, but it's also about signal strength if your mobile data where your signal strength is. So we're gonna switch to console streaming, which we did from up here, and we're going to connect to our Scorpio upstairs, which is an Xbox One X, of course. So here we are. We're here. Here's the controller. Doot. Doot, 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 doot. There it goes. And then I'll zoom out here a little bit. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. So there you go. So we're going to load up Destiny 2. Return to title screen. Yeah, because I was signed out because I was fixing my modem.
So here we go. Destiny 2, Shadow Keep. We're going to hit A. Now, obviously, I can't give you guys a really firm resolution, but there's kind of the resolution. It's just a really bright screen. So I am going to play on a completely different network. I am going to stream an internet only game and show you guys how it plays. I'm going to do the best I can to see what we can do with this here. I'm pretty excited. As you can hear, the music's coming out of the tablet. If you have Bluetooth headset, most of the newer end Android devices, um, will allow you to hook multiple Bluetooth devices up so you can Bluetooth a headset. I also have a Razer Nari and I have the little USB adapter that came with all of my Samsung devices. So I could literally hook a Razer Nari Ultimate in there via USB and have wireless headphones with chat as well. So there's tons of different options and stuff and you guys can ask me in the comments down below like what combinations would work, what, what, what can I use, what can I use and the the limitations really to what stuff you have available to you. Um, the important thing is having an S model controller that can that has Bluetooth built in. Only the S models do. So if you don't have that little headphone jack, upgrade your stuff. And an Android device running Android 6 or higher, 9 is preferred. Um, that's going to be your newer end Android devices. Obviously, you want something that is got that's fairly new. That way it has a decent processor and stuff and a decent video rate. So we're gonna pick my Hunter real quick. And as you can see by the reflection on the tablet, it's got fingerprints all over it, sorry. Um, that I'm actually using the controller for this. So latency isn't too bad when I'm on a decent internet signal. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to Earth. But I have played with like specific settings on my TV for latency for so long that like this, this really isn't bothering me at all. So this is the actual game running. Um, and if my TV's, my TV's on upstairs, it would be showing the exact same thing. Like I said, all this does is it mirrors the video feed that is going to the HDMI. It just mirrors it and sends it through the network. And the only thing that the Xbox needs from us is the inputs coming from this. It's basically a wireless display device that you can take anywhere. Sound quality is good. Video quality is good, especially when you're on a Wi-Fi. So there's plenty of public Wi-Fi places. And if you have something like Xfinity, you can connect to any Xfinity Wi-Fi and literally just put in your information, your, your account information. So your email address and password that you have set up with Xfinity and you're good to go there. A lot of other cable companies do that as well. I know Cox does. I know Time Warner does. So good, good looking out on there. So this is gonna be kind of difficult because I'm gonna be playing kind of like weirdly, but movement is pretty good. Like left is left, right is right. You guys are seeing this all like real time. I'm literally going to run over here and hope that I can find somebody to shoot in the face. Okay, look, a chest. Wow, good timing, huh? Oh, it required something that I did not have. So we're just going to run over here. Sorry. Hey, look, there's some guys. So let me do it this way. And that's that's people playing in real time. Like, this isn't the video feed or anything like that. This is literally people playing in real time. So it's literally boom, 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 boom. So once you get used to that kind of latency... You can actually play a lot of games pretty freaking well. You just have to know your timing and stuff. So that's not bad at all. Um, this is going to be super useful for me. Because I do tend to travel quite a bit. Hey, look, there's some people in. There's some people in here. Hello. Who's shooting at me? They don't. 
So a lot of people are asking me, okay, so if you're playing on tablet, you don't have a headset, how can people hear you? Well, check this out. I can hit that and I can unmute myself and I can hit allow record audio. And now the people that are in here can actually hear me. Hello. Hey, look, there's a Titan. There's a person driving around. Oh crap, there you go. So yeah, as you can see, like, all right, so people can actually hear me. Um, excuse my horrible shooting, but I am literally doing this one-handed. There's that one. You know what? Quack! I'll just throw that over there. We'll just throw that over there. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, so all in all, it's it's pretty freaking awesome. And as you can see, it says right there that I am streaming and I can disconnect at any time. Um, I have full access to everything, all my messages, everything that's on my Xbox. This is literally giving me full access to that. Um, one of the other things that you guys might notice is that let me clear it up some look at that isn't that interesting how like my guide is all the way over here to the left now and all of this stuff is like rearranged well check this out this is one of the other things that they're working on is customize the guide tab so look i can come up here and if i'm a capture core which i totally am i can pick that up and i can move it and i can put it right there and then when I back out and I pull up my guide, look, bam, capture right there. So you can move in the, in the new update, you'll be able to move things around, which may, I like stuff starting from the left and working its way over. Like that's just the kind of person that I am. Um, another thing that I like about the current preview is right here. Um, if you're playing a game, if I had a game loaded, I would actually be able to hit this key and do a record that from like right there, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, so let's see what's what's another thing I can do here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Like a, hey, look, there's Major Nelson like right there. Cool, cool, cool. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Let's pick him uh, and let's invite to party. So we're gonna invite him and pull up my party. And as you can see, like I am actually talking. <coughs> let's set up our voice overlay. Put it right there. Full transparency. Cool. So yeah, that's that's streaming in a nutshell. The dashboard obviously works very cleanly. Um, games look like they work pretty cleanly as well. Um, that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's the streaming on the uh, Xbox One. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is Volgenrath. Thank you so much for uh, checking out my YouTube videos. Uh, continue to stay tuned. Make sure in the comments you leave any questions you have, any comments, and especially anything that you want to see Xbox related. I am more than happy to show you guys what's going on and what I'm currently working on as well as what's immediately available and what's coming. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and don't forget the links below if you want to sign up to be an insider and get in on this action. Take it easy, and I will see you next time. Peace out.